Happy Monday, beloveds! Today is April 27, 2015, and we are right in the midst of some really interesting planetary energy. First off, we've got Mercury now in Taurus, and with it in Taurus, that means there's a lot about hunkering down, focusing a lot of energy into the self, but it is also moving into Gemini, which is that twin, that trifecta. And that energy is full of groups and double and two energy. And so there's a lot of energy around being together with other people, doing things differently, and a lot of just group and double two energy. So be aware of how you're feeling this week, because on Sunday then we have a super duper sexy seductive full moon in Scorpio so what that means is this is going to be that energy of romance and gathering and connection and this moon in Scorpio is going to bring out a lot of dramatic energy so be aware and I want to announce right now that I will be having my first ever virtual goddess gathering and it will be on Monday because we'll still be feeling that effect of the full moon. So it will be next Monday. And this goddess gathering is going to be an amazing opportunity for you to connect with other goddesses as well as the energy of the full moon to help you release or bring in what you need as well as heal, release. There'll be a ritual, a mantra, and a card reading, all kinds of cool things. So stay posted for the details of the virtual goddess gathering. I'm so excited. It's my first one. I I used to have them in my home back in Chicago back in the day, so I'm excited about having a virtual one. All the details will be coming up on my website and on Facebook, my website, www.tarolifecoach.com. First off, we will be talking with the Gateway again because this is a very interesting time for us and I really want us to connect on a deeper level. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and take it to prayer, breathing in grace and gratitude and good and God knowing right here and now all that we need all that there is is God is good is grace and gratitude so I just bless our week I bless our body temples our minds our bodies our spirits I bless our homes our dwellings our pets our loved ones significant others I bless our work I bless our bank accounts I bless our organs and I bless our loved ones and everyone who has passed over our ancestors. I call forth a divine and perfect healing, a divine and perfect blessing, a divine and perfect opening and allowing for this week. And I also take a moment to breathe in, a moment of silence for those in Nepal who have lost their lives, those who are looking for their loved ones, those who are our brothers and sisters. How grateful I am to know that we are connected with the one that is the one because we are all one. I send my love and light around the world to you, everyone listening, everyone watching, and everyone who just I hold deeply, deeply, deeply in my heart, and that is you. So I release, I let go, and let God, and so it is. Amen. Okay, so beloveds, so much amazing things are going on with the planets and also with me. So, But let's go into our reading and let's see what is in store for us this week with the cards. I love the gateway cards. You know I don't use them very often because they have a very special connection and I knew this is a gateway opening for us this week. So, all right, so the cards have spoken. The first card we get is taking action. And what this card says, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless opportunities or possibilities. So there are possibilities in front of us. We just have to remember to connect with them. We have to stand in our strength and on our power and not let the fear monsters get to us. The next one is embarking on an adventure. Wow, I'm having a moment, so I have a feeling this is directly related to me. And I know if it's related to me, it is related to you and it is I savor in the wonders of the world so an adventure is about to be had get ready it could be not an adventure on the outside it could be an inner adventure it could be a romantic adventure it could be a work related it could be a dream coming true it could be a 
bunch of different things. But remember, it's an adventure and don't let the fear monsters get you. And then here we go, wow. So I, like I said, these are talking to me. Launching your journey. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. Yes, I claim it. I am launching my journey. Things are about to change in the world of Tanya. I don't know how, when, or what. I just know that God is guiding me and that's all I need to know. So let's see. So taking action, embarking on an adventure, launching your journey. Do you see there's a theme there? So I know these cards, like I said, are speaking to me. So I know there's somebody out there who also needed to hear this message today. So let's see what the tarot have to say. And I have something really amazing that I'm going to be offering. And I want to tell you that... I guess I'll tell you now before I flip the cards, that way I'm not in the middle. So I've decided to do something that I've never done before and it's called Tune In With Tarot. What it will be is a three card email reading when I really tap into your energy, give you a mantra and allow you to get a weekly update. So whatever it is that you need to focus on, you send me a question or an issue or something that you want, you will get a three card reading from me with a mantra and, and or a spiritual exercise. So that will also be posted on my website and I'm looking forward to tuning in with you and the tarot. So again, you can also find the information and any details on Facebook. You can find me at Facebook at Tarot Life Coach or Tanya Melendez, T-O-N-Y-A. M-E-L-E-N-D-E-Z. So that is how you can find me. All right, so the tarot have spoken. Interesting spread today. So the first we get is the three of pentacles. You know, three is that trinity, holy spirit, mother, father, God. It is all of that. And because it's pentacles, it's saying you are working on something that you need to put time and en energy into. And it's time for you to show your craft. It's time for you to share your craft. It's time for you to share your light, what it is you are here to do on this planet at this time. Allow it to come out. And then the next one, very much like our uh, previous cards, Six of Swords. Swords represent air and thought. But again, he's here on a boat. He's on his way somewhere. So it's very interesting launching our journey. Again, something amazing is about to happen. Something that needs to be shifted out or brought in or no, a new place to go is coming for us or coming through us and to us. So it's time for us to say yes. And then last but not least, we get the Ten of Cups. Cups represent, you know, emotion and flow. And so because it's a happy family, it's the end of a cycle, it's the beginning of something new. So allow yourself to be open to the possibilities. Remember, taking action. Be open to the possibilities. That's what this week is all about. But this is also a time of a lot of healing. So if that energy, if you're feeling kind of off this week, allow yourself to tap in what is really going on inside, what needs to be expressed, what needs to be really released, and what needs to be explored. Remember, we are taking action, we're embarking on an adventure, and we're launching our journey. That's what this is all about. May is a wonderful time. Spring has sprung, and there's so many amazing things going on. So please join me tomorrow for Miracle Club, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, the details are on my website, www.tarolifecoach.com. Also, you can check me out this Wednesday for a special radio show show i heart psychics radio presents tuned in with tanya melendez we'll be talking about the goddesses again the goddess energy is very strong during the may time again it's a very feminine energy scorpio is very fiery very passionate so we'll be talking about the goddess and the feminine energy this wednesday 3 p.m eastern standard time on blog talk radio and you can find again the details on my website at www.tarolifecoach.com so trust and know that this week is blessed i will be doing a short little video for the full moon but if you're ready to go deeper if you're ready to manifest and if you're ready for a miracle Come on, goddesses, this is your time to get it together. I'm so grateful to be of service. I'm so grateful to shine, serve, and share with you. And I know that you are love, you are light, and you are blessed. Until next time, beloveds, peace and blessings.